guys, it's me, Miss Mercy Girl here. And first, before I begin, I want to say that I'm sorry for not publishing videos in such a long time. Um, I've a lot of things that happened besides school and my my phone uploading thing wasn't working, but now I finally got everything in control. I think so. Why don't we get started on this new video? So today in Little Tokyo, I found this. Uh, Meiji Apollo chocolate making kit. So I saw Studio Lorian or Abby and well a lot of other people make this and I haven't found it before until today at my nearest Nijia market in Little Tokyo. So if you guys want to know the address, I'll link it down below. And this is so cool, you can make your own little polo chocolates and they have different shapes like a heart and like this mountain one and like this weird top one. So I'm really excited. So they have like two chocolate pens, sprinkles, the mold, and a stick. And I'm excited to do this, so why don't we begin? Contents out of the box, we have two chocolate pens. This one's milk chocolate, and I think this one is strawberry. We have this little stick. I'm going to guess it's for maybe turning the chocolate around or something. These cute little sprinkles that are pastel -y colors. And last but not least, the mold. And I think there's a lot of different types of molds here. There's a heart. Let me flip it over. There's a heart. There's two regular sized ones, two smaller ones, two small ones that have like a flat top. This gigantic one, and these two that kind of look like hills. So yeah, so the first step is to melt your chocolate. So I have this thing that's filled with boiled water, so why don't we melt it? I've already melted, so it's probably going to take a while for me to fill up all these. So I'll just film a little bit, and the rest I will do off camera. And I'll add the sprinkles, and in the end we can see the finished product. So it is kind of hard to actually like do this, because the piping thing is like giving me a hard time. And like adding the sprinkles everywhere <laughs> is actually pretty hard as well. And it now does not want to come out. <laughs> yeah. So we have all of them done. We just need one more. So why don't we fill this one first with pink. And then we'll add a lot of the stuff. Add the chocolate. Add the pink. Okay, that was the sound of the chocolate, I swear. I swear that was the, cho that was the chocolate, I swear. It's not me. Guys, please don't say it's me. Okay, so we're about done. We still have a lot of chocolate in here, so I'll probably just do some more later. So I'm just going to add some sprinkles all over the top so it could be beautiful. And then I think you're supposed to put it in the freezer for a couple of minutes, and I'll come back when they're all finished. We are Bye, guys. back from the freezer, and it was about an hour. Um, I had the chance to do my nails, so it was about an hour or so. Um, but I'm pretty sure it should be less than an hour, but I kept it there for a little while longer, so... Yeah, they're all frozen and tensed up. So why don't we all, uh, why don't we take them out and show them to you guys? Our guys all out popped into a plate. So this was the heart one. Uh, these two were the weird little mountain ones. And let's just say I did not have a very easy time getting all the chocolate on there. Um, these are the weird two flat ones. Yeah, they didn't turn out very flat. The two small ones, I think, are right um, here. These are the two small ones. The two regular size ones are right here. And the largest one is right here. So all these are very pretty. And I actually did have some leftover chocolate. Um, but I ate, the, I ate the chocolate before I could realize that I could, like, put some chocolate more on after it was done but I was too kind of dumb to realize that and I also do have a lot of sprinkles left but yeah why don't we why don't we eat it and see if it tastes like a normal Apollo so I'll be eating this I think I think normal sized one mm. yep it tastes exactly like a normal Apollo but this time you made it yourself and making it yourself makes you feel really cool and good to know that you were the one who made it. So I give this a 10 out of 10 because this was awesome. I love the way you can make it. And it's pretty good for kids and just anyone if they like making chocolates. And it tastes great. So it's not that bad. It is actually pretty good. And the mold is actually really cute. Maybe you can clean it out and use it for clay. I don't know. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys down later. Down 
I'll see you guys later. Um, comment down below which one is your favorite. I think my favorite would have to be the largest one or this heart because it's so cute. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.